I'm gonna start the film, Dad. Video. This is Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, today I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I didn't vlog, so I thought I would do a little video on how I edit my Instagram. Um, I've been getting a few comments about my Instagram lately, and I'm finally thinking I kind of have an idea of how to make like an Instagram theme. So I am going to show you guys how I do my Instagram. So let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so the first thing I do Biggest recommendation if you want your Instagram to look clean is take good, clean photos. Very clean photos, you either use a camera or I have like an iPhone. Um, I know these, the iPhone, if you have a plus, it does this really cool portrait thing where it blurs out the background. Um, and pretty much like all the sevens and up are pretty good with quality wise. So um, just take really good quality photos. Um, the lighting is the biggest thing. You want to have good lighting, not like super dark lighting. And yeah, so clean photos, which means good camera quality and bright photos. As for like a theme and stuff, you can try to do a color theme. I'm not very good at this, where you choose one color and you make sure it's in each one of your photos. Now if you're like me and kind of just like to post whatever and like to post when things happen, then it's hard to do a color theme just because I don't know, you want to post a photo of your friends, but it's not your color theme, so you don't post it, and it's like, no, 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 no. So I would recommend you not doing the color theme. Um, if you do, um, props to you, it is so difficult. But yeah, so that's another thing, is you could do a color theme, but I choose not to. Um, that being said, so most of my photos kind of coordinate somehow together. Um, I do have a white border around every single photo, but I'll get into that in a second. So starting off with the apps now. So to get that white clean border around, I use something called Square Ready. And all you have to do is you just um, pick the photo that you want and you just click this button and then it goes right in and then it gives a clean white border and you can post it. Now, um, the other apps that I use is something called Avery. I use this one for brightening up my photos. Um, it's very simple and easy to use. You just click um, a all you do is click adjust brightness you can up the brightness lower the brightness it is totally up to you that's all I really use that app for you can use it for a bunch of other things but I choose not to um, the next one I use is facetune I use this for whitening my photos big time um, like you see here um, it's like slowly whitening it just like looks cleaner um, the last app that I use is something called PicTap Go. I use one filter from there on all of my photos. So that is another thing is if you filter all your photos the same, normally what happens is you get the same kind of look and the same kind of like vibe situation. So um, I use something, the, the filter called Air. And it just adds brightness to colors. It just kind of brightens everything up. I'm out of focus. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. So um, I go with Air. Um, next question I get a lot about Instagram is how to get bigger on Instagram. Now, I'm not some professional expert. I don't have tons of followers or anything. Um, but from my experience, a big one is hashtag the things that you are, like the theme that you're going for. So let's say I post a photo of an outfit. Don't post hashtag insta like, hashtag follow, hashtag all that. Post outfit of the day, post outfit. Like choose hashtags that are what you're trying to get across. And people will click on those hashtags and see your work. Um, another thing is, is follow people that you like, like your fashion gurus or your like your vlogging people. Comment, like, interact with them. Um, there's another way to get going. People see you, people notice you. Um, yeah, like. <coughs> But yeah, the biggest thing is engaging people on Instagram. Polls are an awesome idea right now. Polls are definitely new to Instagram. If you haven't updated it, update it, because polls are so cool. You can kind of just be like, yes or no, or um, just fun questions. You can be like, oh, like, do you like the rain? Yes or no? And just because people engage, I know it sounds silly, but people love to do that. Um, it's definitely a good way to kind of like bump up people um, and get them excited for your Instagram. And yeah, so that's kind of my Instagram advice. Like I said, I am no professional by any means. Um, this is just kind of what I've decided that kind of works for me. Um, so yeah, I hope I covered most of the things for you guys and um, I will see you guys tomorrow in the vlog. Bye guys!